Hello, how is everyone doing today? Today is August 12th, 2023, and I know long time no see, right? A long awaited update on my cacti and succulent windowsill. Um, I haven't updated you guys in like three months, so this has been much awaited, much long awaited. A bit has changed. Uh, in my last update, I didn't include some key information I will include into this video, so just keep watching. So uh, here is how is the overall look. So I will start from left to right. So on the very left is my South American pincushion cactus or scientific name, Mammillaria. This is my cactus. I named him Albert, if you're not aware of his name. Uh, I gotten him in June of 2022. And I noticed that this summer, especially, he has grown like more upper growth. So he's a little bit more taller. So if you watched the previous updated videos that uh, you'll see the difference in the size so yeah he has uh, grown quite a bit this year so i am very impressed i water all of them from like wet to dry like once every seven to ten days and that seems to work during the summertime then the winter time of water maybe very sparingly like once a month so next to albert the south american pincushion cactus is my bunny ear cactus. Scientific name is Apuntia microdasis. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, it's growing tremendously. It got lots of like pads growing and um, it, it just seemed to uh, love summer because when I first got it, it wasn't growing that much, but now it's just growing tremendously. And it seems very, very happy. And there's the little baby that I planted back when I repotted this. I think back in like March, I believe. So yeah, so here's the next one right here. This is the drooping prickly pear cactus, also called maverick cactus. A scientific name is Apuntia monacantha. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, this one did have, uh, I was concerned about it because the pat, well the growth, uh, let me try to point it out. Like it had like some browning on it. So I was very concerned. I was thinking I wasn't watering her enough. This is Carmela. I don't know her name. I did name her back in like February, I believe. Yeah, February. So I was concerned, but then now the, uh, she's grown a little bit more taller, like more vertical growth. So I noticed that it's more green. So I think I, I'm doing something right. You know, plants have their unique ways of saying if something is wrong without verbalizing it. So that's what I love about plants. So uh, if anyone has any tips about the browning, like the little patches of brown, feel free to let me know. See if I can uh, redo something or correct uh, my care for her as I would like her for her to be nice, healthy, and happy. Like that's my ultimate goal for all of my plants. So next, uh, this one in the back is my blue barrel cactus. Scientific name is Ferro cactus or Fero cactus. Help. So I gotten this plant b back in May, I think toward the end of May from my local Walmart for like $5. I've seen a bigger one, but I was thinking it would not fit in this window. So I found uh, him, I named him Kenny. This is Kenny the cactus. So yeah, he is glad to meet you all. This is my first formal introduction to him, of him to you all. So he is glad to meet you all. I got him at the end of May. Uh, at Walmart and then um, this, he was a smaller one compared to the one that I first saw. So I was, when I first found him, I was thinking, wow, he will definitely fit into my window. So I, I absolutely just grabbed him up and then got this nice terracotta pot from my local craft store, I think Hobby Lobby, and then got a nice uh, saucer for it. And then, um, then I repotted him, added some nice little top dress and the sand that added a little flare, some drainage to it. And he is just loving it and he, has grown a little bit. Um, I have read that these are rather slow growers. So the key is patience. So uh, yeah, so next up is my uh, golden sedum. Well, actually I didn't show the other one. So here's the other one. Yeah, golden sedums. Pre present both of these plants to you. My previous update of this uh, cacti and succulent windowsill. I did get these uh, for at uh, off the clearance shelf at Lowe's and they have uh, grown a uh, quite uh, a little bit. Um, I did repot them into these terracotta planters. I did get these from Hobby Lobby as well. And what one thing I like about terracotta is that it don't allow your plants to be overwatered. 
but um, they have acclimated nicely. They don't seem to have the nice golden tint that they had when I first purchased them. They're more like a green color, so maybe they're not getting enough light. If anyone has any knowledge or expertise about golden sedums, feel free to leave a comment below and just feel free to educate me or provide any tips or suggestions that will be greatly appreciated. And then next up is my Zebra Haworthia or scientific name. I know it was reclassified to Haworthiopsis. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully I'm not butchering that name. He is uh, doing absolutely amazing. I think I was underwatering him as his leaves were kind of shriveled up. So I've been giving him a little bit more water and he has been appreciating that he's been showing like he's not as crink crinkled or crunched up together like he was. So he's doing uh, just absolutely phenomenal. So I am glad that he is showing this result and he has seemed like he grew some more pups. So I'm wondering, uh, do you guys think that I should keep them in the same uh, pot or should I separate them and propagate it? Uh, if you have any suggestions or opinions on that, feel free to leave a comment below. And then next up, uh, here is an experiment because um, you remember that uh, I posted, I think in my, was it my previous update about my uh, Albert, my South American pincushion cactus. He had all the, well, the, yeah, fruit. Yeah, that's what those little red things in the previous video were. So uh, I did research online and it said that the fruit contains seeds. So I did harvest some of the fruit and then I did plant them into here, but so far nothing has sprouted. So hopefully um, I did not do anything incorrect. They uh, were good seeds, hopefully. So yeah, if anyone has any suggestions on that, feel free to leave a comment below. And then uh, last but not least is this cactus. This is a golden ball cactus. The scientific name starts with a P. I will put it below in the comments in the description. I'm sorry, just talking too fast. Maybe I'm just too excited. But um, I did purchase this a week ago. This is, uh, well, this is not my plant. I got this for a friend of mine because uh, uh, they were like, uh, they were fascinated by my passion for like plants and cacti. And they said, I, I would like for you to give me a cacti. And I said, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm glad to uh, have you aboard to the cacti team, the succulent team. So I picked this up from my local Walmart for about $5 a week ago, uh, last Saturday. And then I um, I had this pot on hand already because um, I, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I just went ahead and got quite a few terracotta pots and saucers because I know, knew that I would need it for something. So yeah, this uh, other scientific, well, common names for this is the Golden Tower Cactus and lemon tower cactus if i'm not mistaken i do uh, i did select this uh specifically for my friend as it is uh, safe to handle like the the spines won't get you if you were to touch them with your bare hands like they're very soft it feels very furry so yeah he, he won't get you so yeah that's uh one of the top reasons also i just love the overall look of the yellow spines it's like a golden look or you know i just love the uh the look that it gives so yeah, so this will soon be gifted to my friend. I hope that you will enjoy this gift in your uh, home. I know you have a south facing window, so that will be a perfect uh, growing location for this cactus. Um, yeah, so uh, my window faces southeast, so it gets, um, yeah, so it's morning time. So the sun is coming in and then it lasts from around sunrise to about 12.30, 1-ish p.m. So yeah, and then for the rest of the day is just indirect sun. I did forget in my um, in my previous update of this windowsill that I did remove those paper towels and I did just uh, put some felt down. The paper towels were just looking tired and raggedy, so I had to get rid of that. So I just, uh, I custom cut some felt. The, the felt was very inexpensive from Hobby Lobby. It was like maybe 25 cents per sheet and I used two sheets. Uh, here's the part with their, with, where they separate, so right there. So yeah, it overall looks better and it also help catch any water that may fall from the plants when I water them. I did water them earlier this morning. Um, so yeah, it overall looks better. I just love the aesthetic look of it. It looks more aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, so um, I hope y'all enjoyed this much awaited update. I know it's been like three months since I updated you guys on my cacti and succulent family. 
So uh, if you all have any questions or comments or input, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I am on social media. My Instagram is at Dynamic Gardening. And my, uh, I do have an X, formerly called Twitter. Uh, my, tw my Twitter slash X is at Dynamic Plants. I just recently started it. So I only have like one or two posts. So yeah. But it would be more to come on there. I, I, I will post uh, these guys on there for sure. So, yeah. So, uh, thank you all uh, for stopping by. And you all have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you.